About 10,000 turned out for police detective Wen Jian Liu's funeral today. He was murdered along with his partner two weeks ago in New York City. Officers were asked to put their feud with the mayor on hold. Some did not honor that request. Here's Jerika Duncan. The sound of taps and cameras flashing echoed on a dark day for law enforcement everywhere as one of their own, 32-year-old Wen Jin Liu, was laid to rest. Thousands of men and women in blue stood in the rain. They watched and listened to the service from several large screens placed throughout this Brooklyn neighborhood. Detective Liu was a brave and skilled police officer, but he was also a kind man. But outside, as soon as New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio started to speak, some officers turned their backs on him yet again. Officers turned their backs on the mayor at last weekend's funeral for Lou's partner, Detective Rafael Ramos. New York Police Commissioner William Bratton sent a memo to his officers on Friday saying a hero's funeral is about grieving, not grievance. But in today's sea of blue, there was a visible divide. Some chose to face the mayor as he delivered the eulogy. Retired New York City police officer Walter Liddy. I came on the police department in 1981, and, you know, we had some rocky relationships with, with mayors. Nothing compares to what it is now. Despite the obvious tension between the mayor and some police, the focus remained on Detective Liu and his family. His widow, Pei Jia Chen. We loved you. I loved you forever of you. She broke down as officers folded the flag that draped her husband's casket, a final reminder that his life of service came to a close. Last year, 50 officers throughout the country were killed in firearm-related incidents. FBI Director James Comey, who was at the funeral, said one of the hardest parts of his job, Jeff, is to call the police departments when one of those officers is lost in the line of duty. Okay, Jerika, thank you.